Hello fashion sewers, in this tutorial I'm going to be showing you how to sew knitted fabrics. I'm Colleen G. Lee and this is Fashion Sewing Blog. I've set my sewing machine up and as you can see I've got my plastic foot on and I also need to make sure that three other things need to happen. I need to make sure that my tension is a little bit looser than usual and I've also need to make sure that my stitch length is between I would say about two and my stitch width should be roughly about 1.5 millimeters somewhere around there okay I've got a regular sewing needle in and I'm going to show you the difference between using a regular sewing machine needle and a ball point right start with my needle down in my work I won't back tap this is I'm just showing you what I'm doing here I've also got the zigzag stitch selected because that allows me or anything that you're sewing which is stretch. Right, done that. To be able to stretch with the fabric. So that's the reason why you need to use a zigzag stitch. Now as, as you can see, I hope you can see that there, there's very irregular stitching. So it's done a little bit of a zigzag stitch in there and it's missed stitch in there so you can't see any definition of stitch in there. So that's the reason why you shouldn't be using a regular needle. Now I'm going to show you the difference between this and a ballpoint needle. I've now inserted my ballpoint needle and as you can see it's stretchy fabric and I'm going to be using my straight stitch so I can show you the difference between using a straight stitch and the zigzag stitch. So I want back the stitch for this demonstration. I'm doing a straight stitch and as you can see the fabric is going through right, quite nice with the foot. Take that up. And there we've got a straight stitch and now you can see there's no missing of stitches like the first one and that's what you want and that's what a four point needle allows you to do now the reason why we don't use straight stitch can you hear that and can you see that it's snapped so now i'm going to show you the zigzag stitch that under my machine and down I'm just going to select and then start zigzagging. Okay, got to hook. Push my threads. See it zigzag. Zigzag thread there. And if you pull, there's no snapping. And that's the reason you should be using a zigzag when you actually sew knit fabrics. Just to recap, the first one here is where I've used a regular sewing needle and as you can see there's lots of missed stitches there and that's what happens when you use a regular needle on knit or stretch fabric. Now the middle one here, this is where I've used a ballpoint needle and I've done a straight stitch and that still isn't working. As you can see there's breakage of the thread there and there and it doesn't allow for it to stretch with the fabric. Now with the final one here, it's a zigzag stitch and I've also used a ballpoint needle and the reason why, ballpoint, you don't get any breakage like there and you should use a zigzag stitch because it stretches with the fabric. I'll just pick it up and show you. See? It doesn't break. So when you're using knit, stretch fabric, zigzag stitch and also make sure you use a ballpoint needle. I hope you found that demonstration helpful and useful and I'll see you in my next video.